Today we're going to be breaking down this scene and this scene who are both created by Ian Hubert. Hello, it's Markham Torch Gif from Markham 3D. Now this scene here is available on the Blender Cloud and this one here is available on Ian's Patreon. But let's first start looking at this. He's set this all up in Eevee. There are a few textures that are missing and that's probably because of licensing, but that's fine. Funnily enough, if we zoom in, so let me just bring this around. I believe this chap here is the legend himself. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Ian. So it looks like he's done photo scanning on all the characters and we see he's duplicated the characters here. So these two here are the same characters and there's also a character here at the back. So yeah, that looks amazing. So let's go back in just into the front view and we can see here in the top right hand corner, we've got some smoke. Now, obviously they're not smoke simulations. They are just texture planes. So if I click on it, we can see that. So let's jump over into shading and we'll have a look. What's the image actually look like? It is called Angel Steam, drop down, Angel Steam, and there we go. It's just this simple texture here. And we can see that there's actually a few of them. So let's go back into layout, solid mode. Let's just hide this for a sec. And I'm gonna hide this big building as well. And we can see just how many of those steam textures he's put in just to build up those layers. I'm just gonna Alt H and we'll just come back into render mode. And we can see that he's created a little bit of a fog, a little bit of an atmosphere. And so I've actually got that atmosphere selected. So if you come into shading and we can just see it's a very simple volume scatter. So for instance, if I come into our renderer and then we'll come in and disable it in the renderer and we can just flick between one and two, we can just see the slight differences. You can see that we've got, obviously as the shot goes further back, you can see it just adds an extra depth of field with a bit of a fog. Looking fantastic. If we actually come back here and check out some of the modeling here, we can see these cables here, beautiful cables here. Very simple, actually quite low poly. And they're all Bezier curves by the looks of it. And we've got two characters here in the background. Really nice little pieces. Let's check out this little boat down here. You know, there's nothing really high poly about it. Looking fantastic. Let's check out these docks. Look at that gorgeous stuff here. Let's check out the boat itself. And we can see the wonderful amount of pipes going everywhere. These tires are looking fantastic. Ian's got a very good like eye for these little details. It's just stinking amazing. And we can see even if we come from here, we'll see that we've actually got a light all the way back in here. There we go. There's our little point light illuminating this whole area and kind of drawing our focus into that tunnel area. So let's now jump over into the compositor and we can have a look what he's done here. I mean, fairly standard. We've got the view on the comp compositor node. We've got the render. So we've got a mist factor in here that also adds to that fog. That's interesting. And that's what makes it must be what makes it pop. We've also got the glare. Do we actually have bloom? We've got bloom enabled as well, which is really cool. Now, what's this noise texture? I think that might actually be artificial noise. Let's unplug that. Let's bypass that into there. Yeah, wow, look at that. So he's actually come back in and added the noise. I think that is amazing. And so we can just tell the difference. So if we just hook that back up, it's darkened the image a little bit and brought in all those speckles. Oh my goodness. There was a nice little Easter egg that I found. Where was it? I think it's about here. Hit the like button. Help the YouTube algorithms. So this amazing scene file, it's available on the Blender Cloud. Let's jump in and check out the other one. So this amazing bit of kit is on Ian's Patreon. And well, let's break this down. Look at that light. Look at the lighting. That's cool. I love the 3D scanning he's done of his, I think, friends, I believe. Nice little point line in here, just to really accentuate that whole central area. Um, but once again, like the modeling, it's... You know, nothing crazy. It's just these wonderful textures he's done. He's created some fantastic videos on texturing, how he's just um, kit bashes. I mean, hang on, is that even sideways? <laughs> but you don't even tell. So if we come into the render view, look at that. Those images are sideways. It's just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at these curtains. What are these curtains here? So this is an image texture and he's just bent it. He's probably used um, the proportional editing tool, selected a little bit. G, oh, let's go O, G, and there we go, that's all he's done. 
Ingenious. Um, what have we got here? Some little emissions. So if we're coming over into shading, let's kind of break this down a little bit. Let's check out what this material is. Doors, metal, double. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at how he's done it. Far. My mind is blown. Like it's just so simple and effective. I do love all these little bits and pieces of rubbish. That looks amazing. I mean, even kind of like, look at that, he's stretched the UV, but... And that is so cool. Um, he's actually, Ian's actually got a video on his Twitter account, which I'll put a link in the description, on an actual rotating shot of this and how perfect that looks. Uh, once again, let's come up into composition. Fairly straightforward, and we don't have a viewer node. Let's just add in a viewer node. Um, let's go check out that sign. That sign's really appealing. So if I click on the sign, is that whole one image? I mean, one item, it sure is. Let's jump over in the materials. We can see we've got three different materials on there. So let's go into shading, select that. Let's bring it back up. Uh, materials, the pink material, fairly straightforward. The grill. Oh wow, that's a grill. So I'm gonna guess that we've got an alpha mesh. Actually, let's check out what these textures are. So we've got the Galvin, this one here. No way. So if we have a look at this texture, that's all it is. And that's not even modeled. Oh my goodness. What? What? That is insane. It's just shortcut, um, shortcuts galore. I mean, look at this pipe here. There's there's an actual image of a pipe in there. Doors double metal. Let's click on that. What pipe is that? That's this pipe up here. How does he get away with it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable in how he's done all this. Look at this. That's this bit. If you guys want to check out these files as well, Sign up to the Blender Cloud to get these images. Uh, the Blender Cloud also has all the old splash screens as well that you can check out, so you can actually download those files. Now, if you like this type of video where I actually went into other blend files, which I think is actually beneficial just to kind of um, give you perspective on how other people do things, please let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue doing these kinds of videos.